Bobby Jo Stinnett met her husband, Seb, from Skinmore, Missouri. They were childhood sweetheart and started dating in high school. Just a year before the tragedy occurred in 2004, the pair got married. They had a very bright future ahead of them and was anticipating the arrival of their first child. However, their dreams were crushed by one person, and this was Lisa Montgomery. Friends and family would describe Bobby Jo as an intelligent, loving and shy person. She had a very close relationship with her parents and younger brother. In 2004, Bobby fell pregnant and when she shared the brilliant news with Seb, the couple was over the moon and planned to name the baby girl Victoria. Bobby was working for a local manufacturing plant in Maryfield, but she also ran a business of breeding dogs as her part-time job. Bobby Jo loves dogs, especially rat terriers, and she had a lot of knowledge and first-hand experiences with them. So she and her husband Seb decided to breed rat terriers puppy from home, then sell them in the hope to gain extra income and give her baby girl a better life. It was while she was chatting online that Bobby Jo encountered a potential customer, a 36-year-old woman called Lisa Montgomery from Kansas. Lisa and Bobby were quick to form a friendship because the pair had a lot in common and eventually she told Lisa she was 8 months pregnant. Lisa then lied and said she too was pregnant with twins, but one of them passed away so she was due to give birth to the surviving baby in December of 2004. She would advertise her business and communicate with the dog lover community through an online chat room named Ratta Chatta. This chat room was designed especially for people with a love for rat terriers. Lisa had been posting pictures of herself in the forum, however, it didn't look like she was pregnant at all. Regardless, Bobby Jo still believed and trusted her. Bobby Jo and Lisa had actually met in April of 2004 as they both attended an animal-related event in Kansas. They would exchange a number of messages a day and eventually Lisa formulated a plan telling Bobby her interest in buying a rat terrier from her. So on the 16th of December 2004, the pair met, as 8-month pregnant Bobby Jo kindly opened the door and welcomed Lisa in at about 2.30pm. The woman who would end her life in the most brutal and gruesome way. Lisa, in fact, was using a fake name, so she introduced herself as Darlene Fisher. Unfortunately for Bobby, she was home alone that day, with her husband Seb away at work. Bobby Jo invited her through the house, and as soon as she turned her back, Lisa saw this as a good opportunity to take out her pink neon rope, ready to attack. She then waited until Bobby was distracted, then she wrapped it around her neck and strangled her. Bobby tried to break free, but failed and soon she felt like life was slowly being choked out of her. At this point, Lisa thought Bobby was dead, so began to carry out a despicable act and that she had been planning for months. She reached into her bag and took out a carving knife which would be used to slice Bobby Joe's stomach open. During the brutal act, the pain woke Bobby Joe up and she regained consciousness only to realise she was severely injured with her stomach being cut open. Frail Bobby Joe tried to fight Lisa off, but she didn't stand a chance. Lisa was quick to overpower her and once again she strangled her using the same pink neon rope until Bobby Jo stopped breathing. After Bobby Jo had died, Elisa carried on cutting the baby from her womb. She sliced her umbilical cord and cut the baby free. Soaked in blood, Lisa removed the surviving baby from her stomach, then fled the scene, leaving Bobby in a pool of her own cold blood. Bobby's mother, Becky, went to visit her at 3.30pm but saw the most horrific scene of her pregnant daughter being murdered in the most inhumane way possible. Becky immediately called the police. When paramedics arrived at the crime scene, they found Bobby Joe's lifeless body. With her stomach cut open, both fists tightly clenched, indicating a struggle. They tried to revive her, but unfortunately was not successful, and 23-year-old Bobby Joe was pronounced dead at 4.27pm. However, the baby was nowhere to be seen, so they contacted the FBI hoping the baby would be found alive. Therefore, the following day they issued an Amber Alert for the missing baby. Lisa, on the other hand, was heading back to Kansas. She cradled the newborn as it was her own. 
A few months before the murder, she had been lying to her husband and all her friends in town, telling people she was pregnant and would go as far as downloading ultrasound images from the internet and passing it as her own. When Lisa reached Topeka, she called her husband, Kevin. She told him she had given birth while out grocery shopping and apparently gone into labor prematurely and gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Asking her husband to give her a lift back home because she was too frail to drive, which of course he did. At this point, the police was working hard to find the murderer. The suspect they had in mind was the last person to have seen Bobby Joe before her death who'd made the appointment to buy a dog from her. This person went by the name Darlene Fisher. Even though Lisa had given a false name, the authorities still had access to Bobby Joe's computer. They found a conversation between Lisa and Bobby Joe on the Rata Chatta chat room. Tracking down the person's IP address, linking it to a phone number and an address that alerted them to Kevin Montgomery. Less than a day after the murder, on the 17th of December, the police went to question the Montgomery household. Here, they found Lisa inside, along with the newborn baby, surrounded by her delighted family. Lisa was immediately arrested and the crying baby was returned to Seb's in it. DNA testing confirmed that it was the baby of Bobby Joe's. Although Bobby Joe's family were heartbroken by the incident, but they were relieved to find baby Victoria. Lisa was questioned by the police and eventually she confessed to what she had done to Bobby Joe. So just to give you some background information on Lisa Montgomery is that she was 36 year old at the time of the killing as she was born on the 27th of February 1968. She had a terrible childhood. Growing up in a very abusive household, she was beaten and raped by her stepfather. Initially, her mother didn't know about the sexual abuses, but when she found out, not only did she not go to the police, but in fact silenced Lisa by threatening her with a gun, demanding her to not report the abuses. Lisa suffered from mental illnesses and turned to drinking as a way to escape reality. In 1986, 18-year-old Lisa married Carl Bowman and they had four children together. However, her fourth child was born very prematurely, so the doctors advised Lisa to undergo tubal ligation, which is sterilization. This meant Lisa would no longer be able to get pregnant again if she goes ahead with the procedure, which she did. However, she would later come to regret this decision. She was in a 14-year relationship with Carl, but he claimed she cheated on him several times. Eventually, the relationship broke down and they got a divorce in 1998. Lisa had a tendency to fake her pregnancy and she allegedly faked her pregnancy twice while she was in a relationship with Carl. After the separation, Lisa then began a relationship with Kevin Montgomery, in which they got married in 2000 and settled down in Kansas. Similarly, she also claimed she was pregnant three times in which Kevin believed her. On the first two times of the fake pregnancy, Lisa says she got an abortion as there were problems with the fetus, but on the third time, things got very ugly. And through the Rata Chatta forum, she met Bobby Joe and went by the name Darlene Fisher. She then went to her house, attacked and cut her stomach open for the baby, then left her to die. Lisa was charged with the federal offense of kidnapping resulting in death. During her trial, her defense attorney says she has pseudosciesis, a mental condition that causes a woman to falsely believe she is pregnant, and displays outward signs of pregnancy, but the juries didn't buy this and Lisa was found guilty on the 22nd of October 2007. Then on the 4th of April 2008, a judge upheld the jury's recommendation for death, and she was executed on the 13th of January 2021 by lethal injection. Leave your comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, please do support our channel by giving us a like, subscribe and share our videos to the people who may find our content interesting. I now have an account on Buy Me A Coffee, so if you would like to buy me a coffee and support our channel, that would be amazing and greatly appreciated. Which, I'll leave the link in the description down below for you to check out, and please do stay alert and stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.